So now, if you saw the uh, last video, this uh, video, the circuit does the uh, same thing, except for uh, the switch popped off. Um, but we didn't need it anymore anyways. Now, the LED is uh, fading off. So one thing about the push button switches is they don't really fit in the board terribly well, especially at first, and uh, they pop out easily. I don't usually uh, insert it in this slot, not as much as that one, so that is why it fell out just from the uh, pressure of my finger. But in any case, we quickly charged the capacitor and it was able to keep the LED on for a little while after we removed the switch. And so now we zoom into the uh, schematic I drew up. I made this a while ago for a video series. This was uh, probably the 54th uh, video. I think I may have made some bonus videos. But uh, in any case, um, not many people watch that series, so uh, remaking this. Now, uh, we're using a PNP bipolar junction transistor. We're using a 2N3906. Last video we used the NPN version, 2N3904. They basically have the same electrical properties, but current flows in the opposite direction. So based on uh, the way we have this wired and the last circuit, they're wired the same except for where there's more positive, there's more negative. Of course, some components you have to make sure you insert in the proper direction, such as a capacitor that is uh, polarized and an LED. Otherwise, everything else is just a mere wiring of the uh, last video. So 220 ohm resistor to protect the LED when the transistor is on fully. And uh, when the LED starts fading, the so that would be saturation when the LED is on fully. When the LED is fading, that is when the transistor is in the active region. So, um, looks like I accidentally messed up the connection. Okay, so when the LED is fading, that's the active region. Now the transistor is limiting current because there's not enough uh, current going base to uh, emitter. Actually, that way, so it would be emitter to base. Um, not enough current was going to turn the LED on fully anymore. That's active region. And once it doesn't conduct anymore because there's no uh, emitter to base current, then the transistor is called cut off. It's off completely. When we press the button, this is a 100 ohm resistor right there. So that pretty much charges the capacitor. You know, not completely instantly, but pretty instantly. If we didn't have the resistor, uh, we might get a little spark. That might be rough on the metal. So I got a relatively low value resistor there, 100 microfarad capacitor. Um, and then, uh, especially once it's fully charged, current also flows, uh, or it only flows through this resistor when that's fully charged, 10,000 ohm resistor, to keep the uh, current limited. Again, we're gonna work positive to negative. So it's actually uh, moving that way once the capacitor is uh, fully charged and then we uh, release it. So right now the uh, capacitor is uh, discharging through that course there. So it is keeping some current going emitter to base right there. And as long as you got a little bit of current going, you got a lot more going through here. So this is a uh, one way you can do a timing circuit. In this case, we're just timing when the LED f fades off, a fairly simple uh, circuit right there. And, um, we also looked at the NPN version in the last video. You could do either one. Just remember, um, you'll almost always see NPN, bipolar junction transistor circuits. You can make those same exact circuits with the PNP other than uh, the current flows in opposite directions. That is the uh, difference, um, something to be aware of. And uh, so that's good practice. If you see an NPN circuit you like, try to make it with the uh, PNP. Now, um, so it's the same pin layout, 2N3906, that's my uh, body given a false signal. Again, we just need a little bit of current flow to allow much more to go through there. So uh, it's the same pin layout as the 2N3904. If you're looking at the uh, flat side, left pin is emitter, middle pin is base, and right pin is collector. But again, current's flowing in the opposite direction. So the NPN one we had in the last circuit was facing to the right. Now we got this one facing to the left so that we can work positive up towards uh, negative down. Uh, so emitter up there, base in the middle, and collector at the bottom. So again, um, that's about all there is to this circuit. Make sure the LED's in the right way or else it won't light up. We looked at in that last video. And as a reminder, um, if I just talk about the uh, push button switch in a video, I'll mention that you know these pop out of the board relatively easily. They do uh, fit in. Um, especially when it's a new board and these higher quality boards, they tend to grip the components a lot tighter. Um, so these can like really fly. They 
seem to not pop out of the cheap boards near as easily, although they don't fit in as tightly once they're in. So I don't usually mention that, but since we had that kind of a blooper at the beginning where it flew out of the board, I thought it was a good time uh, to remind people of that because some people don't realize that and uh, they complain in my videos that uh, their switches popped out of the board. Mine did at first as well. Um, it just uh, happens. You can find alternatives. Uh, you can file it down, you know, so it'll fit better or whatnot, but uh, I don't feel like doing that. Uh, but uh, those are possibilities. So in any case, rambled on long enough. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.